third grade writers, so today your goal is to incorporate research into your writing as you draft the third subtopic of your teacher for a day lesson. So the first step in doing this is that you need to research um, the topic for your third subtopic using Google. Um, when you, as you research, when you find facts or quotes that will be helpful for drafting, I want you to jot them on paper or on a sticky note. So as you do this, you're going to need to remember what you learned from Miss Everhart about finding reputable or good sources. And remember that Wikipedia is not a good source to use um, for your research or writing. So as I researched my third subtopic today, um, I found the following facts. Now my third subtopic is persistence during the race. How can you persist during the race? So I went onto Google and I found some different articles about persisting during a race. So in the article Race Day by Hal Higdon, I found this quote. I always join a pace group so I can run a consistent pace. This makes it more likely that I finish the race. So I found one uh, piece of research that might be helpful for my writing. Here's another thing that I found that might be helpful for my writing. Um, this is a statistic that I think I might want to use in my writing. Your first marathon by runner's world. So this is where, this is the article that I found it in and um, the source, runner's world. So 75% of runners who listen to music while running finish the marathon. Ooh, that's an interesting fact or statistic. I might want to use that in my writing today. And here's another um, quote that I found while researching in Marathon Life by Lindsay Carter. So this was a blog that I found this on. When I need a boost during a marathon, I focus on my breath and each footstep. This kind of mindfulness helps me keep going. So there's three bits of research that I found. I found two quotes, two kind of personal quotes, and then one uh, fact or statistic that I might want to use in my writing today. So now that I've done my research, I can, I'm going to incorporate the research into my draft. I'm either going to give a direct quote and write exactly what it says in the article using quotation marks, or I'm going to paraphrase and explain what the source says in my own words. Now remember that you must cite your sources in your writing. So you must tell your reader who said or wrote the fact or statement and where you found the information. I'm going to show you now how I did that in my writing. So this is my third subtopic, persistence during the race. In order to run 26.2 miles, you must engage and persist throughout the race. There's my topic sentence. One way to make sure that you can persist through the race is to keep a consistent pace. In the article Race Day by Hal Higdon, it says that running the same pace through the whole race makes it more likely that you will meet your goal time. If you start out fast, like many runners are tempted to do, you may burn out early. So as you can see um, here, I am using this piece of research that I found earlier. And in, but instead of writing exactly what it says in the quote, I've put that quote into my own words. I, I still, so I say, um, it says that running the same pace throughout the whole race makes it more likely that you will meet your goal time. So I didn't say exactly what Hal Higdon's words were in this quote. Um, I said it in my own words. Um, so, and, and as you can see, I also tell you the article that this is from, and I say who wrote the article. Um, so then I continue on. Another way to practice Another way to persist through the race is to practice mindfulness. As Lindsay Carter says in Marathon Life, when I need a boost during a marathon, I focus on my breath and each footstep. This kind of mindfulness helps me keep going. As you can see, it helps to practice mindful breathing rather than focusing on your pain. I hope that these strategies help you to persist on race day. So for my second piece of research, um, this time I decided to quote. I wrote exactly what this piece of research says. I quoted it in my writing and I did that by using quotation marks. So here I'm saying, I'm showing you that this is exactly what it says in the writing. When I need a boost during a marathon, I focus on my breath and each footstep. This kind of mindfulness helps me keep going. And again, I cite where this article comes from. I tell you that Lindsay Carter says it and it's from the article Marathon Life. 
So that's what I want you to do today. As you draft your third subtopic, I want you to use at least two pieces of research um, in your writing. These might be facts or statistics that will be interesting to your reader, or they may be quotes um, and personal accounts that you find um, that will support your writing as well. I can't wait to see how you do. Remember to find reputable sources and remember always to cite your source. Uh, talk to you soon.